Hello everyone, and welcome to my Young and Restless official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Billy is reeling from the revelation that Chelsea cheated on Adam in Baltimore, but he also has to deal with the firm he's found himself in charge of on Young and Restless, which happens to have Victor Newman circling it like a vulture. Billy Boy's recent loss of his right hand, Lily, does not bode well. What is the good news? A surprising twist could save the day for the erratic Abbott. Young and restless fans are suffering from corporate fatigue to the nth degree, but that doesn't mean they can't appreciate a nice surprising narrative twist in an otherwise predictable story. Victor, who literally named himself for a winning mindset, appears to be unstoppable against his hapless screw-up former son-in-law, Billy Boy. However, this may not be the case. In a recent interview with SOD, Jason Thompson offered viewers a glimmer of hope, hinting that an unexpected development could throw the mustache's plans off track. Victor regaining control of Chancellor Industries, the firm Catherine bequeathed to him after her death, seemed to be inevitable. In Geno City, what the Black Knight wants is usually what he gets. Collateral damage be damned. However, Thompson believes that now that Lily has left, someone will rise up to fight the good fight for Abbott Chancellor, which might change everything. Firing Lily appears to be one of Billy's stupidest decisions yet. There was a reason he asked her to continue as co-CEO. He needed her, but in the heat of possibly misguided rage towards Chelsea, a spiraling Billy fired Lily when she suggested he become a silent partner to thwart Victor's hostile takeover. We can't help but question if he did the right thing, given Lily's desire to kick him to the curb. Regardless, the transfer leaves Billy unmoored, without an anchor, and reeling from Chelsea's confession. Without a partner, both personally and professionally, the abbot is set to fail until this mysterious figure can help him turn things around. So who is it Billy has a former partner with exceptional, ahem, skills, particularly in computer hacking? She's also extremely smart and despises Victor. Love her or hate her, who better than Phyllis, who is longing for a plotline that does not entail meddling in her children's lives, to step up and assist her ex in standing up to the mustache, Fans of Young and Restless believe Adam and Chelsea's cheating reveal will lead to Sally and Billy becoming a pair. What better method to put them in close proximity in an office? We know how things turned out for her and Adam, as well as for her and Nick. There is a sofa at Abbott Chancellor just waiting for some action. The redhead has no allegiance to Victor, whom she blames for the most of Adam's problems and may be on the verge of losing her job if she decides she no longer wants to work with Chelsea after she's tupped him. Despite being a designer, she appears to be a strong candidate, but she did gain some executive experience at Newman Media. This might happen. Kyle is still too preoccupied with using Glissade to retaliate against his parents for firing him to jump ship and assist his uncle at Abbott Chancellor. Thus, he is a long shot. Furthermore, based on Billy's conversation with Jack the other day regarding his nephew, he would certainly be unimpressed with Kyle's contribution as a partner. The most logical candidate to step forward is the one with a vested interest in the company because it bears his family name. Chance Chancellor already works for the corporation and would only need to take on a larger role and commit to assisting Billy in keeping his birthright out of Victor's clutches. Chance and Victor have a strong relationship, so we're confident he'd enjoy the notion. But is he qualified? Well, it is a soap opera. Chance was a cop a year ago and transferred to a job as a suit with no credentials so we're betting he'll miraculously become certified like all the other Nepo babies in Geno City. Although Martin is said to have perished after falling from the balcony, there's a decent probability he lived in switched shirts with Alan in the aftermath. In other words, Alan may have died, while Martin soon reclaimed his post again. Since the show has been dropping hints that Martin may be alive and deceiving Tracy, the big surprise could come just in time for the November sweeps. 
Is this when Martin will make a mistake and reveal Alan to be his sick twin? If that's the case, Martin could be in for an intriguing collision. Wyatt R. certainly kept Jordan, Colleen Zank, alive for a reason, as they had numerous opportunity to let her die and chose not to. Instead, Jordan lived to tell the tale after all the dungeon drama with Victor Newman, Eric Braden, and was eventually imprisoned in a maximum security facility. Even the tightest security does not guarantee Jordan's incarceration. Jordan has demonstrated her ability to be extremely resourceful, particularly when motivated by a desire for vengeance. If Jordan is preparing to make a November sweep splash of her own, her plot may intersect with Martin's. There's no disputing that it would be entertaining to see Martin and Jordan team up. Tracy appears to be a pawn in Martin's game, serving as a means for him to demonstrate his ability to play normally like Alan. If Martin is genuinely demented, he has no future with Tracy. Jordan, on the other hand, is as mentally ill as Martin and could be the ideal match for him. What if Martin and Jordan fall in love after crossing paths in Geno City? Jordan and Martin may at least become vengeful partners in crime, so this plot could go some intriguing turns. According to the young and the restless spoilers, some surprises are on the way in GC this fall, so we'll keep you updated on Jordan's comeback and any other Martin-related news. The program has dropped hints that Martin Laurent, Christopher Cussens, may still be alive and pretending to be his twin brother. If that's the case, every minute Tracy spends bonding with Alan takes her one step closer to heartbreak. Sally Spectra, Courtney Hope, will experience some heartbreak in Tuesday's Lie in our episode. That is because Billy Abbott, Jason Thompson, will expose Adam Newman's Mark Grossman deception by revealing Chelsea Lawson's Melissa Claire Egan admission of guilt. Chelsea said that she had slept with Adam back in Maryland. Sally trusted Adam when he said they didn't hook up, but when Billy walks up to reveal Chelsea's confession, she'll realize he lied. Of course, Adam will be unable to talk himself out of a situation for once. Sally will demand the whole truth now that the jig is up, so Adam will prepare to pour his heart out with the true tale and apology. According to other young and the restless spoilers, Sharon Newman, Sharon Case, and Nick Newman, Joshua Morrow, We'll wait for updates from Faith Newman's Raylan Castor, doctor after her automobile accident. Sharon may blame Daniel Romilotti Jr., Michael Grazia Day, for allowing his daughter to put Faith in danger, as Faith picked up drunk Lucy Romilotti, Lily Brooks O'Brien, just before the accident. Daniel was involved in Cassie Newman's Cameron Grimes crash all those years ago, which will hate emotions here and make Sharon much more likely to hold Daniel accountable for Faith's trauma. Lucy was also hurt in the accident, but we're confident she'll be healthy enough to receive a lecture from Daniel and Heather Stevens, Vale Bloom, later in the week of August 26 to 30. Will Faith be okay, or will she end up comatose? Sharon and Nick will worry about history repeating itself but they will hope and pray for a better conclusion this time. According to the young and the restless spoilers, Faith and Lucy's accident will have dramatic consequences, so we'll bring you more predictions about all the turmoil and a fevel. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't miss any updates.